Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm in Minnesota looking at that collection I was telling you about. At my buddy, that's it. I can't tell you anymore. <laughs> Look at this cool sign. We'll start off with that. Hey, if you know where I'm at, please don't leave a comment knowing, you know, letting everybody else where, knowing uh, where I'm at. But anyways, we'll walk around. He's got a couple parts. We're in one. This is the first building. Yeah, everybody likes signs. Everybody likes four-wheel drives too. This is a the 940 gas. I believe there's only one of these. Uh, I think there was what was there three of them total made? One was gas, if I remember right. Somebody will correct me. That's fine. So well, there it is. Kind of cool. No, not kind of. Really cool. G1000 Vista uh diesel four-wheel drive beauty bowl nice 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 one of the 25 i believe 900 diesel four-wheel drives this one actually has three-point hitch on it most of them i've seen i thought were standards Awesome, awesome, awesome. G1000 Wheatland four wheel drive diesel. He's not short on weights around here. Oh, we'll get them signs while we're right there, too. Do, 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 do. Oh, look at here 1350 LP four wheel drive. This is not factory, but it is cool. Did you put an 800 in this? Yes. Okay, yeah, 800 cubes under that. Oh, right there. He even labeled it for me. So, look at that. It's just super sharp. 1350 LP. I should probably take that home. I don't have room on the trailer. Ah, here's the other side. Mm, heavy, heavy beast. 1050 Wheatland Diesel Awesome Two speed or three speed and It's a two speed Got my man Jake with me <laughs> Hey 440 the 4440 front wheel assist Cool These are hydraulically driven. Uh, back in the day, I think my, it was my dad's 4, 4150 white broke down. I, th I think it was something to do with that coupler in the middle there. Anyways, I was just a little kid. I can remember they rented a 4430 with a front wheel assist. I remember using that and he'd kick in the front wheel drive and the tractor would slow down because it's hydraulically driven. So, Does this have original paint? What's the line? 4440? Huh, a factory white tractor? So that would be a demonstrator? No, it was made for a data farmer in Washington named Niagara. Oh, okay. I don't know if you heard all that. This tractor was originally white, made for a potato farmer in, you say Washington State? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. You can see the paint. I don't know if you can see in here or not. There's paint here, paint here. It's all white. That's got some white paint on it. Uh, I'm trying to, here, let me grab my flashlight. But there's white paint underneath that green back there, too. Okay. There. Does that help? Yeah. Kind of cool. Something, something different. Oh yeah. Underneath where the weight bracket would be. Yep. Okay. All right. This looks like another. This is a forty-four thirty. It looks like one. We can go look on the back. Doesn't have an intercooler on it, so it's not a 4630. 10 bolt hub on it, jeez. There's a cool thing. <laughs> oh, gotta grab my flashlight out again. Come on. 
There we go. Yeah, well, it is a 40. Stand corrected. It is a 4440. Here's a 4250 open station. Oh. That's cool. Looks like it's got a quad in it. Don't worry, we're getting to the good stuff here shortly. Cool. It'd be handy. All right. A4T diesel. 1600. Yeah, that's a 585. Mm -hmm. Open station. That's pretty cool. Yeah, just like all the other 50 series at that time. Nice. Here's something you don't see every day. 1468. Four-wheel drive. Internationals. Try it a V8 diesel. She's pretty sharp. Pretty cool. Canopy on it, that really sets it off nice. 1050. Looks like it's a little bit of a project. There you go, 708 diesel. Very nice. M5 gas, or sorry, it's an M5. Is this an M5 or M504? M5. Okay, He's there yeah, I found it. Okay, M5 with a four wheel drive under it. Cool. You're gonna have to help me on this next one. I know it's a G series, but. It's an experimental. Okay, here's an experimental model. Is this one gonna be at the yeah. Jordan, Minnesota show? Yep. Okay, this one will be at the Georgia, Georgia, nope, Jordan. Minnesota show, MMCI's summer show that is. Jordan, Minnesota. This has a 605 in it, is that, is that correct? On LP, if I remember right. No, factory yeah. gasoline. Factory gasoline, now it's on LP. Okay. Good cereal. Yeah, I was just gonna do that. Cool. So, what does that say? FTB? Yep. FTB, yeah. Serial number five. Parts book started serial number six. Oh. For the UTs. Yeah. Yep. Pretty cool. You had this at the very first Moline show I went to. It was in that ice arena. Yep. Yeah, that was cool. Literally and figuratively. This tractor's got to weigh, what, eight, 8,000 pounds? At least, yeah, it's a heavy one. Mm hmm. Look at this sharp UB LP. Cute. All right. Now we're getting into a little more expensive stuff. NTX. All these tractors run too, don't they? Yeah. Yep. Including this one of these cheap tractors here. Uh, that was sarcasm, if you couldn't tell. For those who don't know, 1938 only. There was a hundred cab and a hundred, or? There were 150 total out of those, not too many were factory opens. Okay, yep. So, this one here, he's actually plowed with this before. Pretty sharp machine. It was dubbed the comfort tractor. Can't remember what they cost brand new. I think it was like 8,000 bucks or something like that, which was a lot of money in 38. But so it's got, you know, seat for the wife. <laughs> this is the first buddy seat. <laughs> so cool. It's got two sticks, you know, to, uh, for, uh, you know, two speed rear end to go make it go faster. But uh, this one, let's see, I was looking for the heater and the clock and all that stuff, but. No PTO, that'd be kind of a pain. 
you'd have to you know I think I've seen someone that a door in the back for the PTO but yep isn't that sharp so here's where the exhaust comes out just like a car here I'll get on the other can I get through that yeah I can get through there I think this was actually the first U Deluxe I saw at that show too, ever. But now I've seen a few other ones. But well, that's cool. Should we walk back and look at the 8020? Okay. I think so. <laughs> that's cool. That's all right. Yeah. Okay. If you see some parts on the wall, and I'm going to show you some parts at the out in a salvage yard uh, send me an email I'll put my email address in the uh, comments or uh, description and uh, I'll, I'll get you in contact with the owner stand by we'll go look at some more stuff as you see he's got a couple fenders here all for sale he's got 670 900 G1000 here you go. There's his 8020. Is that the 453 Detroit? 671. 671 Detroit. Okay. Oh yeah, look at that monster of an engine. What's this like 200 something horse? I believe so. It has. Don't you? Where, you got the plow for it somewhere? We don't have the 3.1 on ours. Oh okay. All right. Well that's. Oh okay. What a beast. walk around here for you I'll go up there in a second just stand by oh yeah six cylinder for sure got a motor, motor city road oiler in it <laughs> and that's some planet planetaries okay <clears throat> Got a half inch of dirt up here. <laughs> She'll start if you put some batteries in her. But cool. So it's got eight speeds. Two reverse. Okay. The shifters down there. What kind of transmission does this have? Okay. It's not an Allison or something like that. I'm sure one of you guys know. Okay. You think it's an Eaton? I can't remember. Okay. Dana. Cool. All right, let's go look at the salvage yard real quick. Series. Series. We got M5602 over there. More of them. Got a couple of weights. Hydraulic lines, cams, heads, PTO shield, toolbox for 705 or G6, that kind of thing. A couple more heads, cams, sheet metal, 50 series parts here. I can see more blocks, split weights, split weights, manifolds, oil pans, front ends, water coolers. A4T parts. This looks like 50 series parts here too. I don't think he'd sell you any of the sidewalls. <laughs> Seats. Here, let's cut these tractors real quick here. So we got a U here. This is in for salvage. Look at them sexy lights, flat lens. UTS gasoline. Another one. Here's a GB. That's pretty cool. Probably with a really nice tractor in one at one time. So alright, more miscellaneous parts, clutches, flywheels, hydraulic units. Oh, those are 
you know your pedals that looks like for a 50 series there pedal stools and all that a few rims dual cone hubs radiators who's even got John Deere stuff here valve covers hydraulic tanks for a 50 series <laughs> LP tanks front end you know front ends for your tractor so warrant wheatland fenders uh, 50 series tapered lock hubs or late 900 Vista so IH weights big old crankcase is that a 585 sure, sure looks like it more LP tanks side rails for your tractors a couple drawbars <laughs> right there there's some fenders again fuel tanks up the wazoo Never been to Wazoo. Oh, I almost stepped on the glass. Good thing I didn't. I'd have cried. More fenders. It's like an L800 loader. I don't see a bucket for it, but that's quite common. Looks like it's all there except for a bucket. Maybe you can put some forks on it. Ring and pin again, rear axles or something. Heavy duty eight volt front ends, some sixes. Vista fuel tanks. Ooh, front wheel drive parts. Lots and lots of, lots and lots of stuff. This looks like a, I think I looked at the serial number already. This is a Jetstar 2 in for salvage. I don't think it's nurse tanks for sale. This is a 950 three speed, what's left of it. 602. I think that's a 900 over there. Here's a G1000, it was at my place. I did some trading for a tractor that's on the trailer, which I'll show you in a minute. And before you ask, no, it wasn't an even trade. <laughs> What do we got here? UB. Yep. UB. And there's another 950 diesel in for salvage, three speed. So, oh, here's a nice, nice one too. Very late. I believe it's 1970 according to the serial number. And there you go. Uh, this guy, like some other guys that don't only sell parts, they, they won't sell things whole. This guy will sell a whole tractor. You know, that, that's one thing I've never quite understood. You know, hey, you got your, your number in your, your head, what you think you got to have total out of that. You know, why not? Why, why not save some labor and sell the whole thing? So then, you're, then you don't have anything left over that's got to go to the scrap. But that's just my opinion. So nice tractor. Pretty good tires, they got do have some dry cracking, but they'd last me the rest of my life. So but he even has the third lake on it. Look at there. Is that an Oliver seat though? So well there you go. So the last thing to show you is what I'm taking home it's on my trailer. So stand by for that. Alright, here's what I picked up. 1050 LP two speed. I got a set, couple sets of fenders on here. Those aren't for me. They're right time, right place for you know buddies that also need parts. So same thing with these tires. Look at these buttes. I don't know if you can see. 18438 deep treads. Ooh, cast centers in and everything. Yeah, those aren't mine either. Those have a home in Iowa. So all right. So we're gonna get wrapped up here and uh Head down the road, I gotta find a hotel. It's like six o'clock at night and I've been up since midnight, so. Getting tired, so we'll, uh, I may get a hold of somebody and see if we can uh, look at another collection yet tonight, so. All right, uh, it's the next day. So we went uh, 1,800 and 
20 something miles in uh, 40, 42 hours, 40, 44 hours, I guess it was. <sighs> I'm tired of staring through a windshield. So anyways, got the 1050 home. I did, I was able to unload it with the gas that was in the, in the, uh, in the tank here yet. Um, well, then it ran out sitting right here. So luckily I got it out. Um, I, I was told before I picked it up, you know, the, the, the uh, propane valves leak on it. So I'll have to get a hold of Dean Zingre and get those ordered. I think I'm going to order a uh, fuel gauge for it too up there. It doesn't, uh, you know, it's cracked and I, I don't think it's working because we put some gas in it before we unloaded and the, uh, the gauge never moved. So we'll, uh, we'll get one of them coming too. So anyways, the hydraulics work. I did check that. It's got antifreeze. Um, it does have a uh exhaust leak on a manifold i think the gaskets are bad then there's an issue with the the threads on the manifold so i might just get a different manifold or i think i got one on the shelf maybe if not i i know who to get a hold of to get another one coming but anyways another fine specimen to the collection so it's got 18 on the back. I think these are 11 L15s on the front. Yep, 11 L15s. It's got a good look to it. Got to get some seat cushions. I got an idea how to get that done, but uh, yeah, she's nice and pretty. I think it's a 70. Serial tag's missing, but looking at the motor, possibly, and talking to another friend. So it's got the high, uh, the upgraded uh, three-point arms. Uh, I don't think I have one here. I did have one at one time here, but the lighter, uh, the difference is the lighter, uh, lighter, not later, lighter three-point hitch arms. They were different right here. Kind of had like a almost like a plastic, uh, look like plastic anyways, and come out to the side a little bit instead of uh, having a clevis on both sides of the lift arm. So, anyways, I think were these made to pick up six thousand pounds or something like that? Don't don't quote me on that. You may want to do a little more research on it. But it does have dual outlets, original third link. Those are kind of hard to find. This one's been well, it moves at least, but it's been repaired. But that's all right. Looks like they did a did an okay job. It's not straight straight, but that's okay. So. <coughs> PTO turns. <laughs> it's got a two-speed amplitorque in it. Does have a, a cable here? Oh, that's not cable. That's linkage. I thought I had a cable on there. But anyways, two-speed seems to work okay. All the tin works there. The tack doesn't work, so we'll uh, we'll get that figured out does have the old 504 in it. Is it a B? Is that what they want? Or A? Oh, A-6. Yeah. I think the, was the B's in the 1350 and the A4T1600? If you know, leave a comment. That's fine. So, yeah, yeah. But, no, it runs pretty good. I'm going to give it a little tune up. <laughs> When I picked it up, uh, had a little, just a slight miss at a higher RPM. So, and I was looking at spark plug wires, you know. They're, they're not too bad. They're a little, they're quite flexible, but there's some spots like right here. I was thinking that that was rubbing on that bracket there. That maybe it's shorting out. Maybe not. But, you know, spark plug, spark work wires, that's pretty cheap. So, yeah, we'll give her an oil change. Check all the fluids. So, there it is. They only made, well, I had one guy tell me 109. Then my book says 111. So, law of averages, we'll say it's 100 or uh, 110 of them of the G950 or G, sorry, G1050 LPs. So, quite a, uh, not a whole lot of them out there. You could, you can find them in a flat nose. 
So, but this is a bubble nose. I'm gonna, this one's, this bubble nose, you can, we got friends out in Kansas that uh, are re remaking these. So I think I'll, uh, I'll probably get one next, uh, next show I go to. I really don't want to have one of these shipped because it'll probably come just as cracked as this one is. But uh, I can wait on that. So sometime I'm going to get me a 1350 so I have, a, have one of those again here. I had one here for a little while but uh, I actually never owned it. I, uh mutual friend of mine, we uh, bought a whole bunch of tractors and uh uh i was gonna buy one but he talked me out of it and uh anyways and he was uh and he sold some of them or you know before he even they even left the left a piece of property anyways which was about three four three hours for me well he sold one to a mutual friend of mine we had to get him off the property so i hauled it here anyways so that was that one there currently sits in southern illinois we few that's on one of the previous videos um uh, few i think it's called holy combines that 1350 is in there it was not a runner um it had fenders on it when it was here but i think he, he sold that guy sold the fenders off it which whatever it is so the shermanator so anyways this one here uh you know this side looks like original paint Possibly. Uh, I wouldn't 100% guarantee it. This one's been painted. This this side panel, at least, has been repainted. You know, obviously, because the decals are underneath the paint. But you know, she's pretty straight tractor. Gets me seat. Stupid battery died on me. Anyways, so today I'm gonna. I got some friends coming over. I uh. Oh, you can see those fenders there. Uh. G1000 Wheatland fenders, pretty cool. He's coming to get those this morning. I hauled them back from Minnesota for him, so that'll be fun. It's always good to see other Moline enthusiasts, I should say. So, anyways, where was I when a battery died? But uh, so I got that get unloaded. I'm gonna get the 950 out. Uh, I should say out of the field to get the plow unhooked and bring it up. I'm gonna try to wash that. This one here, oh, well, jeez. Look at the bugs. Come across the UP last night. Oh, what time would that have been? It must have been, you know, between four and five. Anyways, US2, there's those black flies. They get like, a, it looks like smoke from a distance. You get up close and it's a, you know, just a whole bunch of black flies just hanging in the air. You know, you get that near the, near the water, so. But anyways, I guess so. I got some work to do today. And uh, I think that'll probably be enough. Oh, I wanted to say, when I was out there in Minnesota, we stayed the night in Fairmont, uh, Minnesota. And uh, that's where home of Belcom Equipment is. And then I was hoping to get a hold of Jeff and, and Jay. But, you know, he was busy. He had a concert he had to go to or went to. And I can't remember which country western star it was, but it was a big name. And I would have probably would have rather went to that too. But anyways, so... I know Jeff watches the video, so not a big deal. Yeah, I'll be out there again. We'll uh, we'll stop in and chew the fat and talk about this Moline uh, fetish we all have here. Anyways, uh, so not a big deal. I was I was pretty tired. Anyways, I got to the. I think I messaged you probably I don't know six seven o'clock at night out there. You know, and I was I was on the road since midnight. So that was that was a long day. Had a few stops. You know kind of break it up stretch your legs you know i only had one cup of coffee because try not to drink too much because you know what happens when you drink too much liquid when you're driving you, you got to get rid of that so and i don't like to stop so anyways for now that's probably enough for this video hey please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one